A very good afternoon to our panel of speakers and all attendees. Welcome to our KPM webinar series. Thank you everyone for making the time to be with us today. The title of our webinar today is HIP, A March Towards Success. I'm Sheila from ELTC or the English Language Teaching Center situated in Banda NSEC and I'll be moderating the session for the next hour. Today's webinar is mainly aimed at sharing the perspectives of the schools, the vocational college and the teacher education institutes on the implementation of the highly immersive program HIP and the practices attained thus far. This afternoon, we are very privileged to have with us four speakers representing the group of stakeholders involved. Our first speaker this afternoon is the Deputy Director of ELTC, Ministry of Education Malaysia, Dr. Kalminda Jit Kaur, Anak Perempuan Gucharan Singh. Dr. Mindy is very passionate about HIP and she has pioneered and managed the program since the inception in 2016. She is rich with the fundamentals of the program as well as the operational of it. With us this afternoon is also Jit Shahrul Asai or commonly known as Sir Asai, a very well-known English language teacher from Kota Baru, Kelantan. He's very eager to encourage the use of English among students and teachers via TikTok. He has a huge group of followers and has successfully infused the application or the apps TikTok in the teaching and learning of English. We are also delighted to have with us Dr. Sirhajwan Idek from KV Keningau all the way from the land below the wind to share his success stories and ideas on the HIP activities that he has conducted in the campus. He has also uh, shared on how uh, KV students have a crucial need to acquire English via their job securement. The HIP environment is vital in the context of vocational colleges. Our fourth speaker for the day is none other than Puan Akma Binti Aminuddin, a senior lecturer from IPG Campus Islam Bangi. She is also the coordinator for HIP. Today, she will share on the effectiveness of HIP activities which has raised the level of immersiveness at her IPG to secure a level four. An enthusiastic and innovative person with brilliant ideas on how to encourage the use of English among tra trainees, sorry, teacher trainees, predominantly from the Islamic studies. studies. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will try to make this webinar as interactive as possible and we would like you to use the chat box for responding to the activities and to post any questions uh, in relation to the talk via the chat box. Let us now begin our session. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the Deputy Director, Dr. Mindy, to share and give us all an overview of HIP and the current scenario of HIP in schools, vocational colleges, as well as the IPGs. Over to you, Dr. Mindy. Thank you, Sheila. A very good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar on HIP, a march towards success. I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to the panel of speakers who have graciously agreed to share on HIP activities this afternoon. We have experienced, we have three experienced and remarkable panel speakers representing schools, Institute of Teacher Education and vocational colleges respectively. And I'm very certain that all of you are very familiar with the highly immersive program, more commonly known as the HIP. 
Let me start by sharing the background of HIP. As all of you would know by now, the HIP program is an initiative to create a conducive learning environment for all students to learn English in schools. HIP is part under the Enhancing Bahasa Malaysia and Strengthening the English Language or Memertabatkan Bahasa Malaysia dan Memperkukuh Bahasa Inggeris MBM MBI policy. The program is also in line with the language learning aspirations set out in the five shifts of the Malaysia Education Blueprint 2013-2025. Ladies and gentlemen, the essence of HIP is to empower schools to develop purposeful and meaningful English language activities based on context, capacity, and collaboration to increase student interaction and participation through an immersive environment. The added exposure to language learning activities develops a culture of positive acceptance to the language and raises students' confidence in language use over time. It impacts positively on their language proficiency over the long-term period. Since its inception in 2016, HIP continues to build and create an immersive English language environment in schools through many activities. Several activities have been lined up to accelerate the expansion of HIP this year, namely the HIP orientation, HIP workshops, HIP school head discourses, HIP carnival, school visits, read with me activities, the HIP mentor project, and let's read and share online activities and competitions. HIP is based on the whole school approach, which depends on the combination of four fundamental factors that ensure the success and the sustainability of the program in schools. These fundamental factors are the importance and the role that the school head plays, the teachers, the students themselves, and the role of the parents and the community at large. In order to ensure the active and effectiveness of the program, each factor plays a critical and supportive role in the learning process of students and is crucial in the implementation process of student learning outcomes. The school head is a very critical factor and plays a crucial role in actively creating a highly immersive English language environment in schools. The school head acts as an anchor who strategically plans for the implementation of HIP activities in school. The school head ensures that the HIP activities are organized effectively to create an impact on student outcomes. The school head also establishes communication networks with parents and community members to contribute towards the program. English language teachers play a vital role in the implementation of all English language programs within the school. The teachers support the school in creating a bilingual language-rich environment. At the same time, the teachers act as role models for language use and build an immersive English language environment in schools. Students who are the main beneficiary of the program will learn to take charge of their own learning process through a sense of ownership and at the same time build their confidence and motivation in language by taking part in a variety of English language activities under the Highly Immersive Program. Lastly, for parents and the community, they have a critical role to support by contributing in creating an English language environment. Parents work hand in hand with schools by providing and contributing their expertise and continuous support to ensure English language activities are conducted effectively in school. HIP aims to calculate a positive behavior towards the learning and usage of the English language, and this involves the whole school, the community, as well as partnerships with government as well as non-government organizations. 
As for now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the support from a group of retired English language teachers, lecturers and officers called the HIP Mentors. These mentors assist the schools to conduct English language activities and most of these activities are out of class activities. Conducting HIP as an online activity, however, is not the same as conducting face-to-face -face activities because it's not merely about taking a face-to-face -face activity and delivering it via web-based or online platform. Online HIP activities would need to be engaging activities which can sustain student motivation. If the activities become a question of filling in hours, then we are truly missing the point and the spirit of HIP. In order to assist the schools in increasing HIP involvement of their students, ELTC conducted a national level competition in conjunction with the World Book and Copyright Day in April 2021. The competition, titled Let's Read and Share, aimed at encouraging the reading habits and developing a culture of reading at large among students in schools, vocational colleges, and teaching institutions. The competition was conducted entirely online. Three competitions were held, mainly the Book Review Competition, Animated Storytelling Competition, and the Online Readers' Theatre. The competition managed to attract 4,672 participations from students and trainee teachers nationwide. For the primary and secondary school category, a total of 4,450 entries were received, followed by 96 entries from vocational colleges and finally 136 entries from the Institutes of Teacher Education. In addition to that, an exciting, thrilling and extravagant online award ceremony was conducted to appreciate all the winners of this Let's Read and Share ceremony. The event was carried out online via YouTube Premium. All in all, the competition was a huge success and engaging both teachers and students in showcasing their creativity in their presentations. The competition turned out to be a huge success with the support from everyone and we hope that the practice will be carried at schools, district and state levels to continue to foster the interest and creativity of students to develop reading habits. Now I would like to share a little bit, a little bit more about a new activity that is being done under the HIP. Now this is called the Remedial Instruction Program. The activity was initiated as a follow-up or a consolidation to the PLAN program, the Program Literacy and Numeracy Scholar Runda. Now this activity was initially initiated by the Curriculum Division to assist students with remedial needs in primary schools. The remedial instruction program will involve the training of more than 1,600 primary school teachers to improve the literacy skills of the students in the English language as they transit from year 4 to year 5. The teachers under this program will be empowered with extensive knowledge and skills on remedial strategies through effective training. The activity is part of MOE's outreach approach under the Highly Immersive Program in collaboration with FINCO as well as LIPAT. Ladies and gentlemen, I have spoken to you and given you a background about HIV and some of the activities that we have conducted this year and plan to conduct. I hope that with this simple explanation, you now have a deeper and clearer insight on how to implement the HIP program in schools. With that, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mindy, for the insightful description of HIP and the need to continue the program in this new norm. As explained by Dr. Mindy, despite not being physically present in the classroom with our students, there are multiple ways on how we can reach out to our students. 
teachers and lecturers are making all the effort to continue the HIP program and provide students with an English-rich environment via online. In fact, the need for HIP is even more crucial today as majority of the students are experiencing home-based learning. The acceleration of technology in the lives of our students require them to know and to be familiar with English. The boom of technological tools and social media testifies to the need for English. On a positive note, it has been observed that students too are supportive towards these type of interactive activities compared to the traditional activities done previously in the classroom environment. Teachers are vital in the transformation and, with, and thus let us now hear from a strong advocate of the new norm teaching, Sir Asai or Cik Shahrul Asai, on the infusion of TikTok via HIP activities. Thank you. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, I'm going to share my slide first. All right. Okay, so uh, my name is uh, Sir Sharol or Cikgu Sharol, and, and I think most of you probably know me uh, through uh, TikTok and Instagram with my uh, famous nickname, Sir Asai. Okay, I am here to share with you how I uh, conduct uh, HIP um, activities in my school via TikTok and other various social medias. Okay, now. On. All right, I am currently teaching in SMK Longa Fatu, Kota Baru, Kelantan. Uh, my school is located in the outskirts of the town in which the students are 100% Malay and every day in schools, they will use the thick Kelantan dialect, okay? Not the standard uh, Bahasa, let alone English, right? So um, this is because my students have limited English exposure and uh, some of them come from low income socioeconomic background all right and uh, their level is quite uh, weak and average so um what i'm sharing with you today is that how hip activities can be implemented in schools okay like my schools it's not a good or or, or, or stamp based schools students right you can see here that um, HIP can be implemented no matter what kind of schools you're teaching, be it in a rural or in a big city schools. Okay. Now let's talk about HIP, highly immersive program. Right. A lot of teachers they have this uh, perception that in order for us to conduct a, a HIP, we need to do something big, something grand. That is not the case. Okay. The sole purpose of HIP is to promote the use of English for students, right? So based on our students, we know the level of our students, right? So we can start with basic activities, right? Okay, this is because English is very important and the need of HIP in schools, we really need to implement this. We need to do activities based on HIP. Right. This is um, because students nowadays, they need to master the English language. And this is now widely used, especially in the field of information technology. And this will help them adapt to the world, uh, to the challenges of IR 4.0, which is industrial revolution. Okay. And English will also help them to manage life skills when they leave school. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, HIP is for everyone, even though a large number of students are still struggling to use English due to the first language interference, okay, like my school, right? Lack of motivation, socioeconomic influences, as well as creative opportunity to practice the language, okay? Thus, there is an important need to make the usage of English accessible via various mediums, be it social media and otherwise. So here I can say that English and HIP is for 
everyone, no matter your students are weak or excellent in English, it is for every student, okay? Right, now let's look at, okay, TikTok, all right. TikTok is a short video sharing in social media. It is around 15 seconds to three minutes. And most of you know that TikTok is very popular among teenagers, not just teenagers, okay, adults also, right, and other professions like doctors, lawyers, right? It is very trendy and very hip, okay? So why do we use TikTok in our uh, English teaching? Okay, because it is short, fun, and snackable, right? Snackable here means that the content is straightforward, short, and easily to digest. So students nowadays, they don't like heavy stuff, you know, long-winded videos, right? And one of the reasons why they love to, to watch TikTok is that it's, it's like free and easy for them. Okay, they don't need to be stressful watching the videos. It's fun for them. And TikTok videos are fun. We have the latest music and it's easily connect to the students, right? And please remember, there are many types of TikTok videos, not just dancing and prancing. There are a lot of educational videos extensively being developed by teachers themselves. I can see that in TikTok, there are a lot of English teachers, okay, using um creating uh, educational videos all right and very creative that's good okay keep it up teachers okay all right now tiktok and hip i know some of you say some of the teachers especially the senior ones saying that oh tiktok or social media is not for me those are for the young ones let them do it no teachers cikgu i am 45 years old Yes, I may look young, okay, but I am 45 years old, meaning that you are not too old to involve yourself with something that is trendy, okay? You need to start. You need to try it out, okay? All right, okay. Uh, so why do we use TikTok in HIP? Because as I mentioned earlier, TikTok is fun and we need to have students to learn English in a fun and engaging, in engaging way, right? So they won't feel that learning English is something foreign and it's something hard. They need to eliminate this kind of perception that, oh, English is not for me, English is so hard. But through TikTok, okay, unconsciously, they are learning by watching fun videos or involving in, 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 in the videos itself, right? Okay. So here I am going to share with you how uh, TikTok uh, is being infused, incorporated in my HIP activities, right? First, we have uh, HIP in class activities, right? This is the typical ones that we have uh, fun during our classroom, uh, during our English lesson. We have vocab practice, read aloud, and so many other fun and engaging activities. But nowadays, we are involving in remote learning. So how can we use videos from TikTok in our lesson and in our HIP in class activities? Okay, I'm going to play you this video. Come in front and write your name. Come in front and write your name. Come in front and write your name. Now find an adjective that starts with the letter that matches the first letter of your name. For example, A, A, Amazing. Okay. Super happy. Happy happy. Strong shariman. Okay. Now, this, uh, this activity that I recorded earlier in schools, which I use them in my HIP in-class activities, is about uh, adjectives. And we have all of our Form 4 students involved. Okay, they view the video and they start writing down, uh, find uh, adjectives that related to their name. And this is fun. And all of my students, they keep on saying that this is the name, the adjective, and their names. So this is very engaging. So how can teachers actually create 
videos, right? And nowadays, I see a lot of YouTube videos okay, created by teachers such as uh, word of the day, vocabulary practice, grammar practice, right? Now, uh, if you feel that you uh, is incapable of of uh, editing the videos okay i know a lot of teachers they feel this is a challenge for them to create a video right you can ask your students to help you out because let's face it students today they know a lot more than us right and if we ask them to involve in something that is fun and related to them and which is tiktok right they will do it instantly they will help us out and just that we need to give them the content okay discuss with them what our lesson is maybe you want to do a video on word of the day okay you can have our students read it out or act it out and share it during our pdpr lesson which is via hip activities so this is one of the ways that teachers you can do you can do it teachers don't feel don't feel that it's too hard for you all these obstacles just share it with your students or your fellow younger teachers right have a one tip of creating videos for hip in class activities okay that is one of the ways right okay all right okay the next activity is out of class activity which means uh, activities involve outside the classroom as you all know all schools now have speakers corner assembly in english uh, whereby students they speak in english they use english during assemblies and we have english graffiti okay now for our tiktok hip out of class activities we can have students um, show their talents okay one of the examples like acting or singing okay here's one one, one of my example he sings sing for now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here to give me through it all. He I is singing. And then you put her around. I was kidding, kind of used to be a song you loved. I said, he has sung a song. So this is one of the examples that I did with the out of class activities, okay, in which uh, we showcase our students' talents, right? Uh, usually out of class activities, we done it uh, once a week, all right? So for teachers out there, you can discuss with your students what are the things that they're good at, maybe a miming or uh, acting, okay? um singing like i did just now right discuss with your students and let them come out with a video that you can share together and this is also we can say a, a part of a project-based learning right okay so the point here is that make the students involved with the video let them create because a lot of students have this creativity inside of them okay we just need to nurture it okay bring out their talents okay teachers all right, that's how you can do it with out of class activities. All right, but this one is much more easier because you just give the task to the students and we share it together via uh, our HIP out of class activities. Okay. All right, next one is okay, HIP extra classes activities. Now, this one, uh, in which activities uh, we give focus on the week. The, the weak students or the excellent students who wants to excel in their exam. Uh, in my school, we have peer coaching and mentoring. Okay, this can also be done online, but okay, the most uh, fun part is that we teachers, we have a lot of experience. We have a lot of our uh, technique and skills. So why not we use them? We use this knowledge, these skills that we, we usually use with our students. We, we usually teach our students for examination. Okay, I have here is one video that mainly focus on how to help students in writing. Okay, let me play it. One husband, five wives. Um, you can use this formula to develop your ideas. For example, favorite hangout spot is at Starbucks. So ask yourself, how do you go there? Who do you hang out with? When do you hang out? Why do you like to hang out there? What is Starbucks and where is that place? Remember, one husband, five wives. 
So one husband and five wives. Okay, extra one wife. <laughs> okay, so these are kind of technique or, or, or tips that we can create a video for our students. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sure a lot of uh, experienced teachers know a lot of tricks up their sleeves, right? So if you still think that uh, for new teachers, right, you can refer to uh, textbook, okay, or workbooks, eh? they have this kind of notes that we can use for our uh, students, right, for our extra classes activities, for our HIP, extra classes activities, okay? All right, that's one of the way. All right. Okay. All right. The next one, the last one of the four pillars of HIP is the outreach activities. This is when we involve other people uh, to join us for our English activities. Okay. Uh, usually we have English camp and it involves uh, the school communities or the schools near uh, our school, okay, around our area. Now, for TikTok, what we can do is for our HIP outreach activities, we can ask other schools to collaborate with us, okay, uh, making videos, collaboration, or you can collaborate with celebrities or Insta famous. This is a good thing about social media. It's easy for us to reach out to other people, all right? And uh, this is one example I like to show to you, the one that I collaborated with someone famous. Alibi, 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 Alabi, Alabi, Alibi, Alibi. Okay, we managed to collaborate with the famous comedian Douglas Lim, right? And my students, they were so excited when they saw him in the video. So this is kind of um, the vibe that we give out to students, right? Learning English is fun, and especially we have someone who is influential involved in it. Okay, uh, I also like to share with you other schools um, involved uh, with me, they invited me for the HIP outreach program, which is Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Perempuan Sandakan, right? So teachers, you can invite uh, Insta famous or celebrities. You can invite me if you have a program on the outreach activities. Just contact me. I would love to collaborate. I would love to be part of your HIP outreach program. Okay. Uh, other than that, we can ask our students to join uh, and ask their friends from other schools as long as it involves other people and make it fun. You know, the more, the merrier. All right. Okay. And again, if you want to have an outreach HIP activities, you can contact me for a few minutes, like five minutes discussion on uh, how to improve your English or maybe about English. Okay. Like we did with SMKP Sandakan. Huh? All right, now, okay, what are the impacts by using social media, especially TikTok, for students in our HIP activities? Students are motivated to learn English. Okay, my students, they love to learn English nowadays because they don't see any barrier at all. By watching the videos, by involving in-class activities, uh, the outreach, right, the collaboration, they feel like English is so much Fun. It's not a boring subject, okay? And of course, it's high engagement because the video itself, right, the one that we created, it requires them to participate, okay? And of course, students nowadays, they love to be in the limelight in social media, right? Whenever they see their face in TikTok or IG, they feel so proud. They feel like, oh, I'm someone famous now, right? So this sort of like encourage them to learn English and help them to participate, to get involved in HIP activities. And of course, they feel good using English, right? All right. Now, another uh, example I would like to share with you is uh, through HIP activities by using TikTok, it develops our students' self-confidence and language proficiency. I have one student, uh, when he was in Form 4 during our speaking test, he was so shy, okay? He couldn't utter a single English word. So he then later on involved in my HIP uh, activities through TikTok. And you know what? He, 
he has he, he's been so cheeky and he doesn't feel shy at all when speaking in front of camera okay so this shows that it develops their self-confidence uh, and he also very proud of using english uh, sometimes we like to show off right but that's a good thing because he's also someone that is uh quite famous in my school and he has he's good looking so when someone you know when when other students see uh this 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 student that as a role model using start using english confidently and and so they will start to follow this the footsteps huh? okay all right another uh impact that i would like to share with you is also uh hip uh activities uh, kick, uh by using uh, tiktok can also help with uh, the academic performance okay what i have here is our last year's result the promac result which is heavily uh, focused on using tiktok via uh, um, with our hip activities right um this is because we were in a lockdown right uh, so the result came out for our SPM 2020 and 86% of students pass, right? That is so uh, outstanding because as, you, as I mentioned earlier, my students are the kampung kids. We have um, B40 students and, and some of them don't know a single word of English, but through HIP activities, the fun, engaging learning, and, and of course, uh, the extra classes, the exam notes, it helped them. Okay, it really helped them with their examination. And you know, when 86% of students pass, this will help them to get jobs after school, right? A lot uh, more opportunity. Okay, and of course, for the good ones, for the excellent ones, uh, the ones that got A's, okay, these are the, the STEM students, okay, they are further their studies by um, uh, going to uh, various uh, colleges, universities, taking up law, even TASL, uh, medic, and okay, another impact is I have a lot of my students now who are a YouTuber, a streamer, and even an Insta famous. So this is some of them uh, aspire to be, right? We are in a different generation in which uh, social media plays a big part in their life. Uh, this is also for survival skills. Some of them at a young age involved in online business and they need to know English. And when they were involved in HIP programs and through TikTok, it builds up their confidence, okay? And um, becoming more famous and become a role model to other students, okay? All right, teachers out there. Now, a lot of us still think that uh, HIP is something that is hard to do, right? It can be implemented no matter the level of your students, okay, no matter what kind of schools you're teaching, because let's face it, okay, we need a our students to learn English. This is very important. Our students actually, they are very creative. Uh, they have this, this uh, need to learn English, right? Never ever underestimate our students, okay? Oh, uh, my, most of them were involved in uh, TikTok are from bad class, okay? The ones that always fail their English, right? This shows that you know, you can see in the videos how they pronounce words, how they, they use English, right? This is the impact for them. Even though in before this, they keep failing. And of course, I've shown you the evidence that our exam results, yeah, 86% of them passed, right? So teachers, let's start educate our students. Let's start implementing HIP, start at the level of our students. If we have the weak ones, Okay, start with the basic one, the easy one, as long as they use English. We are the anchor here, okay? We need to help our students, educate our students, and guide them, okay? Teachers, so hopefully I have convinced you enough to practice HI because it is very beneficial to our students. Let's start now, Chigo, okay? Thank you. That's all from me. Thank you, Sir Asai, for that very impressive sharing on the infusion of TikTok in uh, the HIP activities or via the HIP activities. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
uh, we truly see how uh, HIP activities uh, with the infusion of TikTok has been able uh, to motivate students, has been able to uh, uh, impact students in a positive manner. Uh, where uh, Asai mentioned that they have also uh, improved uh, their language and their confidence to use English. So I'm sure that many of us uh, would like to uh, try uh, the apps TikTok in the teaching and learning of English. Yeah, so with that, once again, thank you, Sir Asai, for that really great sharing. And uh, it is my sincere hope that uh, many uh, of us, uh, many teachers will be inspired to use TikTok in uh, your HIP activities as well. Having heard from the schools on HIP activities, let us now move to the vocational colleges. And with us today, uh, we have Dr. Siharjuan Idek uh, to share on an array of activities, uh, HIP activities done at his uh, campus uh, that has influenced positively the students. Yeah. So with that, um, allow me to pass this time over to Dr. Sihar Juan. Thank you, Madam Sheila. Hello, I am Silha John Irik. I'm an English language teacher at Keningau Vocational College. I'm going to share my screen now. Enjoy. I'm going to talk about how we can use HIP, highly immersive activities, high, highly immersive program to bridge vocational education with the world of work as a teacher at a vocational college. And at vocational college, the education emphasizes students for the world of work. So we can see how HIP is very practical, it's very relevant to the students, and it's beneficial to the teachers too. There are four categories of HIP, in class activities, out class of activities, outreach and extra class activities. I'm going to focus on three of these four categories, in class, out of class and outreach. I'm going to talk about 11 activities. I'm going to describe them briefly, 11 activities that we can use, carry out in our colleges and they are very consistent with what vocational education, vocational students do. So this is my school, Keningau Vocational College, located in Keningau, Sabah, Malaysia. It is about two hour drive from Kota Kinabalu. As you can see from the picture, it's surrounded by hills. So people think a few times when they would like, whether they would like to come here or not. And as a result of this, we do have limited access and connection and exposure to resources, infrastructure, exposure to English language and network. But the pandemic, it's bad, but it has changed many things. And it, it allow us to adapt to virtual platforms where we are able to do as many activities as we can and improve our students' access to the outside world, which is very important for vocational students. As you can see, we have 15 vocational programs and they are they are they are various programs in various fields culinary automotive electrical technology early childhood education and obviously highly immersive program definitely helps them to prepare them for the work for the world of work the first activity the first HIP activity it is a casual interview activity it's an in-class activity this type of activity it helps to prepare the students for the world of work because they need to attend interview in order to acquire jobs. And in my presentation, a lot of these activities, most of these activities are being done when the students are at home or, or we have started doing it since the pandemic started in 2021. So I'm going to play the video. It's a snippet of a live Google Meet of, of an interview we did with the students. To become so good at 
cooking or everything on the kitchen. <laughs> okay, that's pretty hard. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know, but practice tech. I always practice when I was a little, like I was around 12 years old. Yeah, I started from there. So, yeah. Uh, from today, I'm going to study in practice too. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, so who inspires you? Um, fitness YouTuber. Ah. Yeah, I like them. Well, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. So that was an interview done by two of our students, Fedofus Sawyi and Zel Ashraf bin Kusnadi. So this, the next activity, HRT activity number two, it is still an interview, but this one focuses on interview questions and it is an in-class activity. So the questions here, it directly prepares the students for the world of work because these are the questions that, that are being asked when people go for job interviews. So the students, they can write their own scripts or answers in order to prepare them for these interview, interview sessions. And of course, along the way, the person who the persons who access the interviewers can also come up with questions that are spontaneous. So it will be more real life and authentic. Since vocational college students need to take English in communication and business English when they are doing the diploma. So these activities are very consistent with those subjects and they are definitely, we made them as an exercise for our students when they, for in, in these classes. So the next activity, HIP activity number three, it is a sketch based on movie scenes. Why movie scenes? Well, you know, our students, they are aged 16 to 19 years old. They spend a lot of time watching movies. They love teen movies, romantic movies. So this type of activity, it really helps them to mimic the real world situations when they develop their own dialogues and perform it in front of the class. So it is an in-class activity. And 30, 30, 70 students have done these activities in, in, since, since the past two years, since 2020. And that was about four classes. So the next HIP activity, number four, it's dilemma at workplace. And the students, they are doing role play. It is an in-class activity. It can be done when the students are being partnered with another student. One student is a student assume another po a position and another student assumes another position and it mimics the real life situation at workplace where there's always a problem, there's always a conflict, there's always an issue and they need to discuss, communicate to each other to resolve and negotiate to resolve the problem. So again, it resembles real life workplace situation and it definitely prepare vocational education students for world of work. And it's consistent with several subjects that they take at vocational colleges, including professionalism at workplace, as well as core abilities. So the next activity is an elevator pitch. It's an activity where the students have to sell something or the tagline that I use, sell the unsellable. So elevator pitch, it is called elevator pitch because the time is supposed to be very short, one to three minutes. That's, that's how much it, it is for you to get into the, an elevator and then get to the floor that you will, you know, that you're going to. So the students, they have to be concise, creative and convincing. Now, if you have ever watched a TV show, it's called Shark Tank. So this activity was inspired from that TV show. And as you can see here, uh, we we made this as a part of our student of a, of an exercise for our students who take English in communication as well as business English, which is which is meant and these two subjects are mandatory for vocational college students. As you can see from the card that I've shown on this slideshow, you know it's a typewriter and we don't use typewriters anymore. A lot of students they don't know what typewriters is, and the challenge is for them to try to sell this typewriters to a fictional group of audience and that and those are housewives so that's where the challenge is the next class the next HIP activity number six 
it's an art class of activity. So it fits vocational students very well, where they have to where they have to write commercial script and perform the commercial. Now, as you can see, the script that I've shown you here is a script for beauty products. And again, at vocational colleges, we have lots of vocational programs, and one of them is cosmetology. And we had our students from that program to to do this task, but it definitely can be adapted to to other programs too. I'm going to play the video. Not only because it's cheaper as compared to other high-end brands, but it but it gives you the nearest similar quality, new from easy, breezy, beautiful, beautiful stars. So the students. Prior to these activities, the students were shown several uh, commercial videos from YouTube and they were given some time to write their scripts and practice. And of course, prior to this day, to that particular day where they did this task, I informed the students to bring whatever products from their homes, and most of them brought beauty products to, to the college so that they can actually use that products in their commercial performance. So as uh, as a teacher at vocational college and at my college i am the head of research and innovation i know very well for vocational college students innovation is very relevant it is highly emphasized among the students as well as the teachers and for for every vocational college students it is mandatory for them to develop their own projects it can be a product it can be a service it can be a research that is actually relevant to their respective programs. So if they are cosmetology students, they come up with beauty products or, or they do research on beauty. If they are automotive technology students, they need to come up with tools that have mechanics fix their cars. So for vocational college teachers, we can actually take advantage of this and infuse HIP into this. Obviously, we have done this uh, we have attended a lot of physical events before where our students presented their projects at face-to-face -face conferences. But since May 2020, when the pandemic struck, we adapted to virtual events around Malaysia. And to think about virtual activities, we can always do it. Uh, we can always join activities hosted by other countries. And in 2020, we, have, uh, we had over 50 students who took part in these activities where they presented their projects at virtual events like conferences or innovation contests. And in 2021, so far, we have um, almost 100 students who took part in this activity. So I'm going to play a video of a, of a recorded live conference presentation on Zoom by my student. Next is problem statement. Based on my observation, there were few uh, that teachers at free schools had to deal with. The first one is there was a lack of variety of teaching materials that were available in most free schools, limited variety of interesting teaching aids. So as you can see, when the students are taking part in virtual events, especially international events, they have no choice but to use English language. They have to communicate with delegates or people from other countries in English language. And it's something that is very relevant to vocational college students because they are presenting their own projects, projects that they develop at the college uh, since, and it's mandatory for them to develop these projects. So as you can see, it, it, it really allows them to explore many possibilities, uh, especially virtual opportunities. So I have, since early this year, 2020, I'm an English language teacher. Obviously, I like my students to write, and I, I managed to get them to write. We were able to collaborate, contact, and collaborate with several uh, literary magazines that are willing to publish our students' work. So our students, they have been writing uh, poems, short stories, comics, songs, essays, and including research papers. Research papers that are, again, relevant to their final year project that every vocational college student need to do before they graduate. We have early childhood education students at our college, so, and they are very good in performing arts like puppet show, animation, storytelling, and poetry performance. So these students, they have been taking part in many art activities, and they have led and they have guided other students from other programs to do the same. So we started this activity, this 
kind of program in late 2020 as a part of our HIP activity outreach, where we collaborate with with organizers of art festivals in, in other countries. And of course, all of these events are virtual events. I'm going to play a video, a puppet show made by my students. Please break this shackle. If I break it, how can I be sure you won't hurt me? I heard many stories about you. I have been asking for help from the passing sailors and offer them rewards if they freed me. But they always treat me for more gold and diamonds in return. They were even willing to sell me in exchange for more gold from the town's traders. So as you can see, and this activity was actually done by the students at home during lockdown. They did it a few months ago. So HIP is something that we can do at the college and we can definitely get it done if schools are closed and we are all at home. And the next one is an animated tale. And volunteered to bring Sumanga back to their land. I will hunt Sumanga with the best weapons and traps said the first man as he sailed to nearby islands but returned empty-handed. I will use the most powerful magic to summon Sumanga, cried the second man as he performed a magical ritual to call out Sumanga, but it did not work at all. Sumanga loves beautiful boat, so I'll make one for it, whispered. So these stories, they are folk folklore, folklore that are related to ethnic groups in Sabah. As you can see, Sabah is, is, a, is a home to many ethnic groups and, and racial uh, groups. So this kind of activity, it's very relevant to everybody, right? It, uh, of, of, all, of all origins, of all backgrounds. And as, Malaysia, as, Malaysia, as a Malaysian, it's, it's a good activity for us to celebrate our diversity as, as a very diverse nation. So as a head of research and innovation, again, it is my duty to also guide students, other teachers, to do uh, research and innovation. And I decided to infuse this with HIP. Again, there's a, for professional development for staff, we are able to infuse HIP, HIP activity into it, especially when the, student, when the teachers have to speak in English. And for vocational colleges, we have use these two categories of teachers, academic teachers, teachers who teach science, mathematics, English languages, Malay languages, history, and vocational teachers. Vocational teachers who teach automotive technology, cosmetology, culinary arts. So both teachers, both categories are able to take part, uh, have equal opportunities to take part in professional development programs that allow them to share and present and develop their t innovations in teaching or any research related to school management or college management in our case. So this is a video of one of my fellow teachers who presented at a virtual conference. Stubborn that the students believe that the video helps them in their learning. They stated that the resources were helpful and clear in a way that they could easily understand the content. So the teacher, the, the female teacher, she's uh, an early childhood education teacher, a vocational teacher. So this shows that even our teachers at vocational college, they are able to be part of the HIP activities. And I believe HIP activity is, is something that we extend to every member at our institutions. So the final activity that we did, HIP activity number 11, is Education Exchange Program. And again, it is, a it is a virtual type of activity where our students are able to meet uh, students and delegates from other countries, discuss with them, come up with, a, come up with resolutions and present these resolutions virtually. So that's just the activities, the 11 HIP activities that I have presented to you and I hope this will will inspire vocational college teachers to carry out HIP at their colleges. So as you can see the activities they are very possible, they are very doable, they are very practical, they are beneficial to both teachers and students and they are very relevant to the students. At vocational colleges the students they need to learn English in communication, business English, 
and other non-English subjects like entrepreneurship, professionalism at workplace, core abilities, and obviously HIP is very relevant to all of these activities. So I hope we can definitely carry out HIP activities across all vocational colleges in Malaysia. Thank you so much. Wow, Dr. Sehadjuan, I'm truly inspired. And I hope that, uh, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sure that many uh, teachers out there today listening in into our webinar are inspired as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sehadjuan, for that sharing. And it is indeed remarkable uh, to see that uh, you have gone above and beyond by taking your students, uh, you know, by engaging your students, not just locally, but internationally. So uh, we hope that your sharing just now will uh, have a positive influence, will inspire all teachers um, from either the schools, the vocational colleges, as well as lecturers from the IPG to emulate your practices, uh, the HIP practices. So thank you. And moving on uh, for this um, afternoon, our final uh, speaker for today is none other than Puan Akma from IPG Campus uh, Bangi Islam. Yeah. So with uh, with all respect, uh, I hand this over. I hand this time over to Puan Akma. Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon, Dr. Mindy, Deputy Director of ELTC, Encik Sharo Azhan, Dr. Sirajwan, Madam Sheila Adelina, and everyone watching. I'm Akma Aminuddin, Senior Lecturer and HIP Coordinator at IPG Campus Penika Islam. Okay, let me share my screen. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IPG Campus Menika Islam, Selangor. This teacher training campus is 30 minutes drive from Kuala Lumpur and 10 minutes from Putrajaya. At our institute, we have this HIP program objectives. Number one is to create an environment that is rich and immersive for language learning, to enhance English language usage among the students, lecturers and staff, and to improve the English language proficiency among the IPG KPI community. A little bit about our campus, we have about 800 students in which the students are predominantly from the Islamic education and Arabic language programs. Despite the majority being from non tasso background, the highly immersive program at the Institute managed to engage the students through fun, personalized activities. It is the objective of the HRP at our Institute to produce trilingual students and this can be achieved by cultivating a culture of using English in HIP activities. All right, um, we have a promotional video done by the Academic Bureau Students Council. Yeah? We use this quote, to have a second language is to possess a second soul, a quote by Charlemagne. I think that set the tone, the right tone for the students that they know language a second language is important. So we created a fun atmosphere in the learning of the language, invited them to contribute everyday activities as simple as cooking. Let's watch this video. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. How are you? Welcome. Highly immersive program HRP at the GPI 2000 Let's learn English in a fun, easy way. Using our social media, creating a program that increases everyone's exposure to the use of the English language. Guys, step number one is hello Instagram account of HRP underscore IPG KPI. Number two, make a short video or post a photo on any topic or theme. Post it on your Instagram 
Dating in the caption can take HIP underscore a PG KPI. Or simply send a video or pictures to be posted by HIPIPG KPI. Number four. Encourage your fans and lectures. To use English through for You can take daily selfie. Exercise routine. Motivational quotes. Cooking blogs. Singing and playing musical instruments. All fun activities that you do every day. Remember, this English. Let us be bilingual. Oh, trilingual by mastering English. May this program help us in building confidence to use English in our daily communication. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to getting posts from you, be it any uh, creative post that you wish to share with us on the HIP IG account. Thank you. Right. Uh, at IPG KPI, we based our activities on the four pillars of HIP. So you see here we have in-class activities. Uh, I chose to, uh, to show you the online drama performance. Um, for out of class, this is where the bulk of our in, uh, activities are done uh, through the HIP Instagram. And then we have the extra class activities. Uh, I'm showing you the online English language month and we have outreach uh, activities. Uh, the, the, I'm going to show you uh, four activities actually. Yeah? So we took part in the uh, ELTC online reader theater competition. Um, and then we have, I'm going to show you the language camp. Uh, and then we have the, what we, ha we call a program called the ProColor 6 and 7. Yeah? It's a language, um, language um, learning sharing experience of best practices. Okay, um, when the COVID-19 pandemic struck us in 2020, uh, ELTC uh, promoted the idea of conducting uh, HRP through a social media platform. So because all the students have gone back to uh, home due to the MCO, so we must choose the right platform. So for our campus, we chose to focus on uh, the use of Instagram to conduct our out-of-class activities. But first, let us look at our in-class activities. So this is an example of our online drama, okay, our stage performance. So uh, this uh, activity uh, were conducted via the GMeet platform. Um, these activities were done as part of the drama course taught by the English language lecturers. So here we have an example of Aladdin the musical. Uh, they perform in the GMeet and then here is Macbeth, uh, you know, Shakespearean play. Okay, now, um, I'm going to share with you our out of class activities. Here you see the home page of our Instagram. Okay, um, the reason why we chose this uh, Instagram as the platform because um, I think that it is an it gives us the option of uh, you know posting activities as IG stories, and then uh, we can uh, also use uh, IG feeds. Uh, reels and then IGTV. So it can be, you know, video sent about one minute to 15 minutes maximum. And, um, you know, the uh, the concept of for IG is that we use pictures or uh, uh, videos as stimulus and the students need to write captions for the stimulus. So HRP followers, our followers will respond by commenting and liking the captions. So it's kind of, uh, you know, because it's personal, uh, you know, something they also post in their own um, uh, Instagram and then they tag us. So that's the kind of thing of sharing of personal um, materials that makes it like, uh, you know, more interesting for them. So it's fun, but it's personalized and allows uh, creativity. So it's very important that the language learning process, uh, you know, it, it is created through positive attitudes and vibes towards English. So I'm going to share with you our, you know, snippets of uh, of our activities here on Instagram. In the Guatemalan version of the legend, it is said that when her whale sound, she is actually very. This is our collaborative storytelling. When she sounds distant. She is actually. <laughs> oh, 
falling in love with you. Whenever my sleep intends to do a bad thing, I say to the least equally angels, do not record it against me and in the actual mistake. I'm confident and believe that everyone who listens to what I want to convey today has their own friends. Uh, that same goes to for our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim wa lil-akhiratu khayru laka min al-fula and indeed the hereafter is better for you than the first yani life. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say So flashy Let's get started Oh, what? Oh, uh -huh. This is very important We don't know how long it takes Waiting for a love like this Okay, as you can see, our activities are uh, uh, rather eclectic. Yeah, we have a mix of activities, and um, I I have uh, you know support from. Uh, the student bodies, uh, academic bureau, and the a team of highly invasive uh, program representatives from the eighteen departments or units in our uh, in the in the institute. Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, the activities. Uh, you know, a closer look at the activities for out of class uh, HIP activities. So here we have the um, HIP photo competition. Um, we get students. Uh, you know, we post this. Uh, uh, poster and then we have a question posted there what are you most looking forward to this year at IPG KPI this is where we receive new students so uh, and also all students also they they can write their their feelings you know they're away they have been away from the campus and then they write their responses on the stickers yeah so um, then we have one verse of the Quran and um, the, uh, it's uh, important for us to also promote, um, you know, uh, something related to religion, um, in which um, most of the niche program, yeah, it, it, we have a niche program of the Arabic language and the Islamic education. So we had our, uh, we had an activity like this, yeah, to recite one line of the Quran, and then um, uh, they provide the uh, English translation. Okay, for this uh, out of class activities, uh, we had several uh, of this type. So for this one, um, we we asked the students to provide endings for the you know for that caption. She didn't eat the poison apple, but instead, and then you see that sticker there. So they will write their responses there. So uh, the admin will be able to see the responses. So. Uh, Normally, we will take about one week and then we will compile all the responses and post uh, the answers uh, the following week. Um, here is anagrams. anagrams. Uh, the students can answer uh, on the sticker provided there. Uh, riddles, same concept. So these are posted in the IG stories. Okay. Um, okay, um, this one, what's my caption? I think, um, you know, teachers, you can uh, be ready, you know, to look for, you know, interesting uh, moments, you know, if you go out visiting um, at the zoo, you can like snap a photo and then put it in the IG story, put a sticker there and then create an activity. So this one is about, uh, you know, I actually encourage the students to write what's the caption for, you know, what's, what the limo might, uh, might be thinking of. So they come up with interesting um, responses. Okay, this one is the uh, activity uh, to you know share general knowledge. So students they uh, post in their own IG stories. Okay, on uh, say here we have example of uh, you know trivia about sea otters how they hold hands you know while they're sleeping so that they don't drift apart. And then the students tag HIP and then I will repost this as a story. 
So it's a kind uh, it's interesting in the sense that they they um you know they find the materials and then they share it, you know, their general knowledge. Okay, uh this one, one line inspirational one, students can share their own photos and come up with you know captions. Um, and also they can uh, take, uh, you know, uh, lines from lyrics of songs and then, uh, you know, say why they, they like, uh, why it resonates with them. Okay, um, every Wednesdays uh, is, uh, you know, English speaking day. So uh, basically on Wednesdays, uh, we post new materials. So students like, uh, they know that every Wednesday there'll be something coming up. Um, and then also we encourage uh, everyone, uh, you know, the students, staff, lecturers, uh, you know, in their WhatsApp group to speak in English on Wednesdays. We encourage that. So I will be reminding them through the, uh, you know, group uh, WhatsApp. Okay, I'd like to talk about this uh, HRP collaborative uh, storytelling uh, competition. We had this. Um, this is uh, one of the, you know, highest, um, most one of the highest uh, you know viewership for IGTV. Um, okay, so what is collaborative storytelling? So it is actually you know we assign I assign a portion of the storyline to each storyteller. Say we have about sixteen people, and then so everybody gets uh, a line. So they uh, you know they video themselves uh, telling the story. Okay, and then they send it to the video editor. We assign one video editor, and then the videos are then compiled and edited. And the result is this, uh, you know, successful Legend of La Rona, in which, uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's quite good because we have 1,728 views. You know, uh, people like, I think, uh, to watch ghost stories. So, uh, you know, one thing uh, uh, that I would like to say here is that the storytellers actually went on to wearing makeup, you know, uh, you know, stagecraft being applied there. Yeah? So the IG lo followers loved it, judging by the viewership of the IGTV. Before this, we only had about, um, about 200 viewership views. And then I repackage, you know, um, you know, a poster like this, uh, highlighting each of the storytellers, and made it like a poster and posted it in the IG stories. And I asked all the um, uh, storytellers to go and blast it in their own social media platform. And as a result, the numbers start climbing up. Yeah. Okay. So that is our the legend of La Llorona. Okay, the English language department also um, did one uh, collaborative storytelling. So here, all of us, uh, <laughs> we took part, uh, you know, telling a story of uh, the title was uh, The Mystery of Chit City, One Com Cambodia, also a mystery. So you can actually uh, go to our uh, IG and, you know, take a look at our talent. <laughs> okay, now, um, the third pillar of the no the, the second pillar is still the out of class activities okay uh, i have uh, various departments uh, contributing uh, activities so um, these are the list of activities uh, we had a podcast famous quotes uh, uh, you know a band even the examination baskets hrp swari frisbee and archery course hadith videos ramadan greeting arabic quotes in english um, English speaking day, motivational quotes, short taskira, all done by the various departments. Let's take a look at some of the, uh, you know, the posters. Yeah. So uh, this is the Lifeline podcast, okay, by the Psychology and Counseling Unit. The Malay Studies Department did this on the uh, famous quotes, and this one, um, the Examination Unit, they did um, a song. They perform a song, uh, Dream. You know, all five of them, including the KU, the Ketua unit also sang. Um, I, you can take a look at the, uh, I, because uh, we don't have much time, I won't be uh, playing it. Okay, uh, then this one is something that uh, I think it was quite interesting for me. So uh, I think everyone can do this, I suppose. We call it the HIP Soiree. Um, what we did was, uh, you know, we arrange for uh, a gathering yeah, among HIP reps. So I arrange for food delivery to our homes. 
So we chose this uh, dessert, Arabian dessert called kunafa. So we arranged for the food, uh, you know, to be de delivered at the same time. And, uh, you know, we set the food review meet. So we enjoyed the food together. And then somebody played the guitar and we, uh, you actually saw the snippets in the video just now. Yeah, So it was fun, highly immersive moment. This is among the uh, HIP reps. So it's kind of like creating a bonding between the HIP reps, the lecturers, yeah? Okay, um, for out-of-class activities, we also have the uh, physical education unit and core curriculum unit. They did a Frisbee course and archery course in English. So this one, actually, um, I created a TikTok of that, yeah? Uh, it's actually posted in our Instagram. Um, uh, Islamic Education Department did Hadith, uh, you know, the Hadith video, uh, you've seen it in the, uh, just now you saw it in the snippet. Yeah? And then Arabic Language Pedagogy uh, Excellence Centre, uh, they did this, the uh, idiomatic expressions, you know, they use pictures of themselves. I think it's more interesting because they you, you use the, you know, uh, pictures of the lecturers in the department and then create, uh, you know, some uh, creative uh, uh, idiomatic, ex idiomatic expressions. And then the um, Arabic language department, they came up with Ramadan greetings and then uh, people respond here and then, you know, you, you, uh, students can also see uh, the post and comment. Okay, um, English speaking day, uh, basically it started off from the Students Affairs Department. It was mandatory to speak in English on Wednesdays when you, uh, you know, uh, when you go to, uh the students affairs department uh practicum unit um they did this uh, motivational quotes uh research and innovation department um they came up with a short taskira yeah so in english so it's good because uh i think the students can actually you know resonate you know and respond to this um you know the more the values uh in the post okay um extra class activities um uh we did this online english language month in july this year so we focus on five activities so the activities that we did was uh were uh, readers theater um unboxing challenge bookworms review words of faith and readers it's a month-long uh you know activity so we use the google classroom as a platform to uh, manage the activities so these are the posters that I asked my PIC, the English Language um, Society. Uh, you know, I assigned PIC, so okay, somebody will take, uh, one team will be in charge of online readers theater, uh, you know, and somebody will be in charge of unboxing challenge, book course review, words of faith, uh, ELS readers. These are all done online. They actually, you know, um, communicated with the, uh, uh, the Ketua Kulia, or we call the uh, PICs of the groups, and from there they they uh, you know they uh, they uh, registered the uh, you know students who participated. Okay, uh, having done the uh, English language month, we had the online closing ceremony for English language month where we announced the winners, and you can see uh, you know the song Lucky was uh, just now. Uh, was the uh, entertainment part of that uh, online clo closing ceremony. Okay, uh, during the English Language Month also, we did a HIP webinar entitled Captions Online, uh, HIP, IPG, KPI, Instagram. We invited uh, Dr. Mindy uh, to share with us on the policies, on the, uh, you know, all the management of the uh, highly immersive program in schools, uh, you know, and, and IPGs. So we, I invited, you know, a student, uh, rep, a student representative. This is the leader of the uh, JPP uh, from the Academic Bureau. Uh, he's an um, Arabic uh, language student. Now he's become a very good at speaking um, English. Uh, he's, he has improved after one year of being, uh, you know, my PIC for Instagram, uh, for this HIP, IPG, KPI, Instagram. And then uh, we have uh, HIP reps and here is my, here is my moderator. Eh? Okay. Um, yeah, this is a picture. Okay. We also had outreach activity. Uh, we participated, IPG, KPI um, entered the 
ELTC Inter IPG uh, Let's Read and Share Online Readers Theatre Competition. And uh, yeah, for this competition, we won the first place uh, with our entry of the boy who wanted the wheelies. We actually practice, uh, you know, at night online, you know, rehearsing the lines. Um, you know, uh, it's like um, you you really put uh, you know a lot of commitment to you know uh, practice on the uh, theatrical aspects, the delivery, and so I think the students have really. Um, put a lot of effort in here. Thank you, ERTC, for choosing us as the winners. Okay, um, for outreach activity also, we had a language camp at SK Pulau Gaya Sabah. Here, we uh, taught the students uh, shape poems. Yeah? So, so the students, uh, eventually, we guide, uh, guided them to come up with their own um, little short poems, uh, shape poems. Yes, yeah? so the students really enjoyed that. Yeah. Okay, um, internationally, uh, we had a program called the Pro Color 6 and Pro Color 7. Um, this was um, actually the, the program uh, by the Jabatan Dui Bahasa of IPG KPI. It's a language learning best practices and cultural visit yeah, at, at religious schools and uh, at uh, Stellenbosch University in Cape Town, uh, South Africa. Here we uh, we shared with them, uh, you know, we exchanged ideas on new pedagogies. Uh, for us, on our part, we shared the deep le uh, deep learning by Marco Fullen, uh, and uh, we also shared similar cultural elements, languages, uh, you know, with the schools there. So that was in 2018. So this was a highly immersive event where English was def had definite, uh, was definitely used as uh, in all aspects of the uh, communication. Okay, um, this is Procala 7. Um, we went to Wellington College, uh, New Zealand, 2019. Yeah? We shared uh, best practices for uh, language learning. So we actually went into the uh, classroom and we saw, you know, the techniques for teaching uh, and we also shared some of the um, uh, best practices for our teacher training. The The thing is we brought along uh, our teacher trainees um, where they uh, managed to share, you know, aspects of um, uh, teaching of, uh, you know, teaching aspects and uh, the good thing is that the students were actually from the Arabic studies. So it was actually a very um, uh, good opportunity for them to use English. Yeah? In, uh, and then they were able to converse in English. They have to, they had to. Okay. Um, I would like to share with you uh, what students say about the HIP IPG KPI Instagram. Okay, let's take a look at this video. For me, HIP is fun because it prepares a lot of exciting activities that IPG KPI students can enjoy. IPG KPI Instagram is a tremendous platform for every IPG KPI student, including the national student, because we could practice a lot there. And it's very easy because when you open your Instagram or log into your account, you could see the posts or their um, story and tap on it and you could learn a lot from it. And sometimes they even post activities like um, caption the photo, describe um, the object and riddles. And it's very good because you don't have to put much effort in it. I hope this um, Instagram of HIPI Physique AVI could benefit others also in the future. HIP did a really great job in providing a platform for the students to express themselves better in a variety kind of interesting activities. HIP really helps me a lot in improving my English skill. This is because of all the activities that were provided in the Instagram itself, as in emoji guessing and also express our opinion based on the pictures. And I think it allows not only me, but also the other students in gaining more knowledge in English. So don't forget to follow his IP Instagram for more fun and interesting activities. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Adib. HIPIG rocks! My 
name is Muhammad Nabil Ayman bin Muhammad Azlan and I'm from Pendidikan Islam Studies. So, Highly Immersive Program Instagram is a really exciting place to use and also learn English. One of their recent activities that I like is book review. I can talk about my passion, which is reading. HIP makes me believe. Now, I can speak English confidently. With HIP, I can use and speak English better. Thank you, HIP. It always seems impossible and it's done. HIP makes me confident. With HIP, I can overcome my fear of making mistakes in English. Just use English as often as you can. HIP is a fun platform for me to chill and practice my English. My lecturers say that my English has improved. Thank you, HIP. Practice makes perfect. Same goes to learning English. HIP provides us with the opportunities to learn and practice English through various activities. My friends enjoy taking part in these fun activities and I can see that my English level has improved. Okay, I hope this uh, sharing of ideas um, I hope this sharing of ideas will benefit uh, teachers and lecturers to create HIP activities using the Instagram. Um, just, uh, you know, you can assign uh, students to help you to, uh, you know, to create the activities, but you, you become the consultant. Um, please continue your support by liking and commenting on the Instagram post. Uh, you encourage your students to like and comment on the post so in order to achieve the highest level of immersiveness. So um, create that culture of using English in fun activities. Okay, um, now I would like to leave you all with the, um, you know, don't be afraid of, you know, take, taking that step. Um, I leave you with the journey of a thousand miles begins with a, with a single step. Thank you very much. Well, Akma, thank you. Um, and, you know, the, your last activity uh, says it all. Yeah. So we really see that your students have, a, uh, have actually uh, been given a rich uh, language uh, environment for the use of English. And, they, and it's a testimony that they are actually able to say that HIP activities have, uh, you know, influenced. They're mainly them. from Bahasa Arab, uh, you know, studies. Yeah. Islam. So thank you, uh, Puan Akma, Masa. for the sharing, for the creative uh, ways on how uh, HIP can be implemented at your IPG level. And uh, yes, you have managed to achieve uh, the highest level of HIP, which is level four. Congratulations and uh, all the best. Thank Wishing you. IPG KPI all thank the you. best. Yeah. All right. Thank so you. Uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of uh, today's webinar session and the talk or the session, the webinar session today was mainly aimed at cultivating a positive attitude towards the implementation of HIP in this current times, uh, despite the challenges that uh, KPM or MOE is going through uh, in the new norm of teaching that uh, HIP uh, program continues to uh, be uh, done at each level, at the schools, at the IPGs, as well as the KVs, and um, that we would ensure the success um, of HIP at our levels. Yeah. So before I end, or before we end, a huge uh, thank you to all the uh, panelists this afternoon. Um, my sincere thanks to Dr. Mindy, our Deputy Director, uh, Chegu Asai, all the way from Kelantan, uh, Dr. Siar Juan from uh, Keningau, and Kwan Akma, the nearest to home, uh, from Bangi. Yeah? So with that, thank you everyone and have a good day.